how did you two approach your partnership? Kyle, obviously, the skipper came up to join you. How are your guys thoughts on that? I thought that we approached it very sensible, uh, but still um, aggressive being, being ourselves and you know, putting pressure on the bowlers. I thought that we, we made some very good decisions in terms of shop selection. Um, I thought that was crucial and, and it was also very well. Kyle. Um, I felt like you know, the way Kyle played, especially when I went to the bat, that was you know, really well. I was telling him how good he was batting out there, and I felt like it was a top inning. Just because the fact that he was putting away the loose balls, you know, the bowlers, the bowlers was actually under pressure even though they were on top of the game. And that's something we as a batting group want to continue to do. Again, he made my job easier for me and just for me to build that partnership with him, communicate and you know, get the job done. Kyle, how are you liking this opening role in T20 cricket? I think it's, it's, it's a good role for me. Um, as I said, I like, I like the top eight days. I always get a chance to express myself. You know, I just thought be smart with it, you know, progression and basically smarts. And it, it, it's working out nicely. Can we say no for sure that Bangladesh is here for everyone? I can't really say that, you know. Um, I've been, been hearing this all the time, but I guess, I mean, I score a majority of my runs, international runs against them, so I can say that. Skip up. Where do you rank that mark amongst your T20 international For West Indies, it's definitely one of my best innings I've played. Um, just because of the fact that I was there to the end, that's something I've always, I've, I've always wanted to do. You know, make runs and be there and win the game for the team, so it's definitely on top of the chart. How important is this series win for you as a captain? How much confidence would it give you going into the ODIs? Um, as, again, we started we started with 50 overs with a clean seat against the Netherlands. We lost the next series, so I don't want to talk too much about it, but I'm happy that we can have a big back in this 2020 series. It definitely not only give me, but all the other guys you know, confidence that we can go into that game and just play with that level of confidence and belief and just continue trusting the process of what we want to do as a team. So again, you know, just want to go in there and try to win. As batsmen and as a team, um, not necessarily, as, as Nicholas said, um, I just try to put away any of deliveries, no matter who was born at the time, you know, I'm just staying, staying in the moment and choosing the right deliveries to go after. Yeah, again, I, again, I would, I would emphasize on Kyle, I think, I think, I think our template was always to put the bowlers under pressure early in the, early in the over and He's someone who's actually doing really good in international cricket and it's nice to see him use that form and you can see against the left from the spinner, the horse spinners especially, any loose ball the ball, he actually puts it away and that's how good he's batting at the moment. I, I, I think I feed off that today and we just keep building the partnership and T20 cricket partnership is the most important thing and I'm happy that we could have built that partnership today for the team. Considering we're playing three ODIs here at Providence, any thoughts on the pitch? Was it assistance for the batsman today? Um, when we first started, obviously we bowled. Um, I thought it was a bit tacky, obviously with the weather around the locks of rain, probably covers were on longer than normal. Um, no sun to, to, to throw out the wicket. But uh, as the as the game went on, I thought that the wicket played very nice. Um, a bit slow, but obviously longer format, you know, get more more sun and more time, so it seems to be a good day. Skipper, you seem a bit disappointed with the field and effort. Just a word on that and any other improvements necessary. Ah, yeah, as a captain, you never, you never please, right? Um, today I just felt like we didn't, we didn't, we didn't come up with the right attitude. Um, that's a bit disappointing, right? Seeing that it's a learning experience for us as a team, and we're gonna definitely have a chat about it and hopefully come out and whenever it's the next point in time to feel about T20 cricket and just have a better attitude. At the end of the day, that's the only thing we can control, and we we'll definitely work on it. Thanks, guys, and congratulations on a good series.